Welcome. My name is Dr. Matthew Speed and I am a general dentist in Melbourne, Australia. This is a short video showing how I scan both the upper and lower arch with the TRIOS 3-shape digital scanner. I have been using this scanner since 2015 and I hope these videos can enlighten you on some of the learning curve. We can see that I'm inserting an optrogate which in itself can be quite tricky to keep the teeth isolated. Drying the teeth is an always an important part of attaining an accurate scan. Moisture can and will alter the accuracy of the digital scan. To begin scanning, it is very important to create a good base upon which all future images can be made. I spend considerable time rocking and gently twisting the scanner on the same original two molar teeth so that the program has a good basis upon which future images can be added. As you can see, I am still on the same original two molars and I'm slowly moving forwards with a slowly rocking motion so that the camera can see both the images and the teeth surfaces that is seen already and then add to the future image areas. I am gently rocking and gently moving. Unfortunately, I hit the on off button that is really not very well placed. I'm still moving still looking at the computer screen rather than the teeth to see what images I have scanned and what areas I need to add. You can see that I'm using my other hand to hold the tip of the scanner. When I move the scanner to a totally new area, if I have created a good foundation, then the program recognizes quickly where it is and can then add new images really quite quickly and quite efficiently. The upper scan is now completed and we confirm its quality by carefully looking at the computer screen. We are now going to move on to the lower dentition that can be more difficult given the tongue and its movement. The learning curve with this digital scanner has been very steep and at times seemingly insurmountable. The two basic premises that I have now understood are that the scanner wishes to know exactly where it is and so a good base of tooth structure needs to be created and secondly any unwanted movement totally confuses the entire system. It is for this reason that I use the Optrogate and it is for this reason that I don't often use a mirror or cotton roll to retract the tongue. Instead I rather use the tip of the digital scanner to facilitate pushing the tongue away. Even after four years, I still find the lower incisor teeth difficult. But I find that if I go back slowly to the original molar teeth that I have scanned, then I can eventually outwit the system. And at times, it does feel as though we are trying to outwit it. I often go back over areas I have done already. As I can see, there are small gaps that I need to add to. This is in itself a wonderful aspect of these digital scanners. I modify how careful I am and how many gaps there are present depending upon whether I am using the digital impression for an upper splint or for a study model, or for a crown. We once again 
trim the data and the digital impression so that when we do come to align the byte, less things are getting in the way. So the software tends to be more accurate and more immediate. So to summarize, use Optrigate for good isolation. A good start of data is very critical and move gently as the scanner must recognize where it is. I hope you have enjoyed this second video and our next video will address the challenges of an occlusion.